Hi, this is April Shoy and Bethany Burns, and today we'll be showing you how to place cracks either further or closer to your body. If you do an overhanded flick, which is a very, very linear crack, it's going to be the full extension of the whip away from your body, and the sound's going to go directly forward. If you do a very rotational crack, such as a coachman's crack, it's actually going to crack right next to you, and the sound's going to go pretty much upwards, occasionally with a little bit of backwards. The key to doing all of this is timing, so it depends on how long you wait for how much momentum and how much loop is put into the whip for where the crack will be placed. Again, with a flick, which is very linear, it's going to be all the way out, and this is what it will look like in slow motion. If you do a cattleman's crack, which has just a little bit of rotational at the beginning, it's going to come back and the tail's also going to touch the ground before you go forward. This will place the crack at about three quarters length of the whip away from you. And in slow motion, it will look like this. And if you do what is called a circus crack, which is very similar to a cattleman's crack, but you wait even longer and the tail will be slightly in front of you before you crack, the sound's going to go up and forward and be about half a whip length away from you. If you wait even longer, you'll get what's called a hesitation crack, and the tail will be going back up again before you crack it. This will send the sound almost directly up and crack right in front of your face, about one-fourth of the whip length away from you. Even more extreme is the coachman's crack which has it so it's all the way back in front of you for the second time before you crack it. This will send the sound basically straight up and crack right next to you. To get the sound going directly behind you, you can do something along the lines of Victorian cutback which will send the crack directly behind you. The loop is already put into the whip before you even do the crack, so the loop is already traveling backwards. That's what creates the backwards momentum. So again, to create a different direction or a different distance, it, all it takes is changing the timing of how you do your crack. The longer you wait, the more rotation that is put in, and the closer the whip will be to your body. Hopefully this will give you a better understanding and more control of where your whip goes, and happy cracking!